move the wheelbarrow down. Is it on, on record? Yep. Now what I'm going to do is uh, let that go, and then I'm going to hook over here to this other tree, and uh, do the same thing and pull it this way. <clears throat> so you can pull up the roots from the other side. If I keep going, it's going to break that ball. Right, it's so beginning. I'm going, to, I'm going to try to let this go, and then I'm going to hook up to that other tree and pull it up. Yep, that's exactly what will happen. Got a red dot. It's recording now. Hear the thunder? Yeah, it's rain. Okay, let's see if the thing tips back this way. I've got a rope on this side. I don't know if that rope will hold. I don't want something to break. Okay, I think it's the it's starting to uproot on this side. I can hear the roots. Hear them popping? Yes. Every time I make a make a pull on it, the roots want to pop a little bit. Ouch. Well that's what you want it to do. Look at it move when I rise up on it with that shovel. Yep. Coming up now.
get the idea. Yes. Keep doing that. You want to you try get that thing? Okay. I'm going to get under there and uh, make sure I got all that stuff severed. And then we're going to get on it and see if we can't uh, get it up high enough to get a bag around it. And then uh, we're going to pull that thing up on the trailer so we can transplant it. Okay. Uh, just to update, I've taken a one of those free Harbor Freight tarps that you get from Harbor Freight. And I've kind of folded up the lead edge, tucked it underneath the ball, brought the rest of it out there. Now I'm going to let this side down over here and reestablish it over here on the opposite side and tip it back over that way and see if I can get the rest of that tarp pulled all the way through so that we can wrap up the ball. All right, see you in a few. Okay, I've tipped it back over and um, you see it tipped over and I'm now in the process of getting that uh, tarp pulled underneath there. But you see there's some stuff in the way so I gotta get under there and uh, clear out some of that and see where we get all right okay here's where I am I've got a feeder root underneath there I don't think I can get it on camera but the tarp is caught on it and I've got under there with a sawzall trying to cut it with no success so my plan now is to let it back down pull it over this way see if I can get it from the other side and then put it back where it is and then maybe we can get the tarp under it see you later okay I've rigged it back up over on this side I've got it tipped back up There's that thing. Sit. It's broke, but the tarp wouldn't pull over it. So I'm gonna get it over now. In fact, I'm gonna pull the tarp back and cut it off close to the ground. And then I'll be able to pull that tarp under there real nice. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, now, um, you see the tarp is all the way under it now. Uh, I got that feeder root clipped off. Tipped it up on the other side, which is this side right here. And pulled that tarp all the way through. Now I'm getting ready to sit it back down, turn it loose for the last time now and tie the uh, tarp on it as a bag to kind of help hold that ball together while I move it. Okay, see you later. Well, here we are. Um, I've got that tarp tied best I can right now. I'm gonna lash it up a little bit better and get some more twine. And uh, it'll do a fairly good job of holding it together while I uh, put the tree up on the trailer, and then I'm going to haul it to another location, and then I'll be setting it off the trailer into the new home for it with a backhoe. So, uh, I'm going to pause now. It'll be tomorrow before I get back to this, and uh, we'll see what happens when I start loading it on the trailer. So, it's the next day. It's now Tuesday. We're back at the site. I have rigged a chain and a rope 
along with my come along to the rear of my car over there it's attached to the trailer hitch and so my plan is to tighten up on this and tip this uh, tree over and so I can get a board under there and a mover's dolly so I can then get it up on my trailer so we'll see what happens okay um, to give you an idea um, I've tipped this tree over with my apparatus there hooked to the car and I think I have enough room there to get the board under it and the movers dolly and once I get that I'm gonna release the tree let it back down and then I'll have the trailer so I can commence to pull it up on the trailer okay um, to give you an idea I've got my landscape trailer backed up here ramps are down I've got a sheet of OSB it's not a full sheet it's about a maybe a half a sheet of uh, OSB it's a three-quarter inch underlayment that the construction site was throwing away and then I got a Harbor Freight Movers Dolly, thousand pound Movers Dolly on top of that. And I'm getting ready to uh, release the pressure on this and rig it up so that I can uh, pull it up on the trailer. Starting to roll. end of this cable so we can uh, pause it right there and I'll re so we've got a, an additional come along here with new cable so that we can make that thing walk up that ramp as soon as we get some slack I'll take that other come along out.
going to come off. Coming up over the, there you come. Is, it has broken, yeah. Uh, not standing the stress. I may have to pause it again, so pause it again and let me... Uh... Okay. Um, what happened here was that the uh, mover's dolly was slightly damaged to begin with. I thought it would hold together long enough to finish this job, but it didn't make it. It kind of gave it up, and um, I think it was probably worn out by the store because they had thrown it away, and I retrieved it out of their, um, their box. So what I've done now is tip the Tip the tree once again back down toward the uh, back of the trailer, raising it up high enough that I'm going to stick another mover's dolly in there. I got another one or two. Hold on. What I did was uh, put another dolly under there. I don't like where it's positioned. It's not far enough under there. But I'm going to see if I can move it some. I've put the chain higher up on the tree. So theoretically, it's going to tip it this way, and uh, if that dolly doesn't crumble, we may be able to get enough weight on that dolly to see if it'll move. We'll see what happens. Just one inch at a time. This is the Dorian way. This is how Dorian, Hurt and Dorian moves. Just one inch at a time. Well, 